Happy Father's Day! So today I'm gonna teach you how to make this docking station to place our father's accessories. You know, sometimes they can be a little bit clumsy. They always forget where their things place. Yeah. Anyway, so just follow me. So this docking station comprises two parts, the upper one and the bottom one. You can place your watch, mobile phone and sunglasses. By the way, there's a groove down there so you can just plug in your phone with the cable. And you can also place your wallet and car key and the earphone on the bottom. So I'm gonna teach you how to use AI function to design the pattern. Also set up different layers for laser engraving and laser cutting process. So let's get it started. Here are the things you need to prepare. X2P2 CO2 laser machine, blue gun, 3 mm thick walnut plywood, felt, alcohol, and laptop. Since there are some hollows you know, on this docking station, so we decided to make it a little bit thicker. So that's why we use totally six pieces of plywood, walnut plywood, and each of them 3 mm thickness. Um, each part includes three layers of plywood. All right, let's just place them into our X2P2 CO2 laser machine. Okay, let's open the file. As you can see, there's six patterns we're gonna laser cut and laser engrave. So I'm gonna show you some details. I'm gonna choose two patterns to give you examples. This one and this one. Let's open the second sheet. There you go. So we wanna make this docking station more personalized and customized. So that means we're gonna add on some special content, also the pattern as well. So firstly, we're gonna add on the text. So just click the text right here, all right. So we're gonna put your father's name, for example, Leo. <laughs> if happened that your father's name is Leo, well, this gift is for your father. <laughs> we're gonna choose different fonts. I want to have maybe this one. And uh, we're gonna adjust leading to zero, put it aligned to left, great. So you wanna move the whole canvas to left because this parameters always show up. We're gonna cover the content you wanna laser engrave or laser cut, okay? So click the hand and drag the canvas and click select one more time. Great, let's drag the name here. Oh, we wanna change the size as well. Maybe 72, cool. And this one we're gonna laser engrave. So we're gonna choose the laser engrave. We're gonna set up 100% of power. We're gonna set up 550 millimeters per second. And for only one pass, 100 lines per centimeters. You see, now it's different, Leo. We also want to write down some special sentence to our father. So let's click text one more time and drag it here. So maybe that you are the best. Great. Yeah, I like this font. Let's choose this one. And the leading is minus three. Yeah, because if you put zero, it's quite white. All right. So I want to make them closer. We're going to choose this one for, for the middle. Cool. Yeah, I think the size is quite all right. Great, so that's the special content. We're gonna also laser engrave for this content. Same parameters. And next is something that I like to emphasize because we have this new function coming out. It's called XArt. It's an AI function to design the pattern you want. Let's click it. You need to register to get, you know, the cost. I mean the points. To design the pattern. <laughs> so here's the thing, there's two ways to design, text to image, also image to image. I'm gonna show you how to do it text image. You have prompt, so write down all the things you like to design, for example, you know, the colors, the shapes, all the elements. I want a smiley icon, something simple, with maybe black lines and a solid color background. Yes. I mean, you don't have to write down the sentence. You can just simply write down all the elements like smiley icon, simple, black lines, solid color, something like that. Okay, cool. And the negative props, that means you need to write down something you don't want. Uh, you don't want a white lines show up. You don't want a black lines show up. You don't want a bird show up. You don't want a, a car show up. So just write down anything you don't want show up. Okay, so for this one, it's all right. And there's so many different styles. We're gonna choose sketch. And you can have one samples. You can also have two, have three, have four. So for this one, we're gonna choose 
just one yeah and generate so if you're not satisfied with the result you can just click one more time generate so each time the result will be different there's something very interesting about this function but this one i think is all right so let's just use this one uh you want to import this picture to the canvas okay so just click the picture and click import to canvas great and we're gonna edit use this tool there you go you see this is the pattern we want the same story move the canvas to the left a little bit and make it a little smaller all right and for this picture we're gonna also laser engrave so the same story we're gonna choose the grayscale for the bitmap mode 100 lines per centimeters. We're gonna make sure the pattern is full sharpness. And next step, we're gonna teach you how to set up different layers for the image because there's so many different patterns, so many different process. So we wanna make it more simple. You don't wanna spend too much time editing, right? So for example, for the Leo and for the dead, you are the best. It's same picture style and the same parameters. So just use the click right and choose the color we're gonna choose blue maybe you see this blue show up also leo we choose blue and for the smiley face uh, this pattern is different image different from leo and daddy are the best so you need to set up different color let's choose the dark one great you see three colors that means three layers when you choose the dark one is the smiley face laser engraving for this big map picture when you choose the blue one, it's Leo and Dad, you are the best. Laser engraving, but it's a vector picture. And when you choose the red color, it's the laser cutting process. We're gonna set up the parameters. So the power is 100% and the speed will be 19 millimeters per second. Because we did some tests, so that's the perfect parameter for this plywood, a walnut plywood. But in your case, you need to try out different parameters because each plywood will be a little bit different. Great, so that's three layers. You don't have to manually set up for every single pattern. With this function, you can just make them together and you know set up all the parameters in batch. All right, we're gonna connect to our device P2. Yeah, it's already connected. Let's refresh it one more time. Okay, let's maybe just adjust the direction of this pattern. Just make sure all the patterns are right on the area we want to laser cut in grave. Don't be on the line, okay? Okay, next we're gonna set up the focus. Uh, P2 is automatically set up for the focus. Let's just click this icon and put your mouse arrow at any area we want to engrave. Cool. And we're gonna choose the slash flat, okay? The different options for this one is slash flat because we put all the materials onto the slats. All right, everything is ready. Let's hit the process. One more time. Skateboard! Wanna learn how to laser engrave on this amazing skateboard? Same story, subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification. Okay, we finished all the laser engraving and cutting process. Let's check out how they are. Let's just open the P2. Wow, look at this. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Look at this smiley face. As you can see, there's some yellow marks and dust on the surface. Next, I'm gonna give you some tips. I'll tell you about how to clean them. So you're gonna use the alcohol and the felt to clean up the wood, all right? So when you laser engrave or laser cut the wood, the wood is gonna generate the oil or the grease. So the alcohol, gonna dilute the oil or the grease and the felt gonna absorb the dust and oil, all right? So we're gonna use the alcohol first and use the felt to clean up. That's it, they will be dry very soon. And right now we're gonna assemble all the pieces together. So you see the color differences, uh, this is kind of like orange color, that's the original color of the walnut wood. So when you laser engrave the surface and the middle color will show up. So 
So it's very beautiful. It's natural color. A big shout out to your father! <laughs> Isn't it meaningful for a Father's Day gift? So you can learn all the skills I mentioned earlier, the test editing and the AI function, the different layer setup for the image, you know? So please leave your comment down below, like tell me what's your favorite Father's Day gift, what gift you have received or you have to prepare for your father or grandfather. So and subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye bye!